Hi guys, what if I told you that you can have your Audi run the heating for you on cold days or even ventilation on warmer days while you're inside the house and the car still locked? You'd wonder why, right? Okay, wonder no more. I'm here to show you how to do it on another coding video. Stay tuned. Right guys, here we go. So I'm going to show you how to turn on the feature that allows you to run the heating or ventilation with the car locked. But before we go any further, you have to find out if you have module 18 auxiliary heating. And if you don't have VCDS, you could try and phone Audi with your VIN number or registration number and see if they could tell you whether you have it or not installed. Because if you do not have that, this here will not work for you. So providing that you have that, I'll show you how to code it on. And as you can see there on the screen, there's no option for auxiliary heating just yet. So what you want to do is go to module eight, auto HVAC. Then once it loads, you need to go into coding and long coding. This here is just to tell you that there's no description on what you're about to do. Whereas the other modules, if you go on to load, lo, long coding, it will tell you exactly what you're enabling or disabling. On this module, you will not have that. It won't have any description on what you're doing. So you have to be sure that you know what you're doing. So here on the third bit, on the third byte, I mean, so if you press the arrow down, it goes to the third byte and you want to enable bit three. And as you can see, the coding changed from 9.4 to 9C. You close that and if you see there, it changed from 9.4 to 9C. And then you press do it coding accepted and there we go now i've got the option for auxiliary heating so i'm gonna unplug the laptop from the car and i'm gonna run you through how to set up the auxiliary heating before i tell you how the auxiliary heating works i'm gonna show you how to get to that first you want to go into the car menu and as you can see there, bottom left corner is car systems, which corresponds to this button. Car systems, and then there it is, auxiliary heating. And then you just use the center wheel to navigate through it. So here, auxiliary heating. Yeah, I forgot about this. You need ignition on to set this up. So ignition on, as you can see there, you can turn it on straight away car's not running it's just ignition on it'll turn on off same thing with ventilation you just turn it on and then you've got the option to set up a timer so you have three timers any day from now to 30 days ahead you can choose the date for this to run and you can choose you can choose three different occasions for this to run so first you ch select what you want uh, how long you want it to run between 15 and 60 minutes once you select that you select timer one two or three and then you scroll down and select the date so that's it's all it's always going to show you a day ahead of the day you are but you can always bring it back and select the day the day that you're in so let's say i want it to run tomorrow at say eight o'clock in the morning so eight zero and then 19 actually don't forget to change you have to scroll that until it's 8 a.m because 
it was p.m. so you have to scroll it back until it's showing 8 a.m. so now you select that the date tomorrow 8 a.m. select and the way you know it's on it's with those two icons there next to the time and I'll turn it off here for you to see if I turn the timer off those icons will disappear and then whenever it's programmed to run it whatever time you select those are on as as you can see there now and if those are off as you can see there now if you turn let's say heating heating is now on you see there the icon for heating at the top and turn heating off select ventilation on you'll see there now a fan for ventilation so it tells you on the da on on the dash exactly what what it's doing and that's how you work the auxiliary heating so that's the end of the video guys thanks very much for watching like the video and comment if you have any doubts share with your friends and consider subscribing to my channel i know the i said the next video would be the fitting of the tips but i got the wrong clamps and therefore i couldn't fit them just yet i've got the new clamps on the way and then i'll have that video uploaded thanks very much for watching guys and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel